And of course, along with them, their manager this evening, she cannot LKC. And Sheik, I'm going to start with you. You're no stranger to the fans in the state of Minnesota. I got to give you credit again. Obviously, going into the pocket, picking up the services of the blacktop bully and nails this evening. Well, do you know of any team could beat these two monsters here? I don't know of it. Believe me, I don't know of any team that could be. Oh, God, no. Go ahead, tell me. Let's just cut to the chase. First of all, I don't like you. And I don't like them. No, I don't. And third of all, I talked to Nails. And he don't like Sergeant Slaughter or Tito Santana. This is the match we've been waiting for. So when we get in that ring, Whoa, we're going to do one know. thing. And that's beat some people up. So Tito Santana and Sergeant Slaughter, you come in that ring. And I wish you'd come in there too, because I shoved that I, I, I don't know what, I, 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 you might want to get to the ring. Get to the ring. I, get him out of here, Sheik, will you? Get him away from me. Hello, you get me on channel two, channel three. You're hearing me through three. Okay, we're hot. Well, thanks, Mick. You know, it's, it's great to be up here in Anoka, Minnesota, and uh, we're looking forward to coming back here to Minnesota with uh, the rest of the AWF shortly. Well, I got to, again, give you credit, Mr. President, because in the ring right now, we are taking a look at four of the greatest superstars in professional wrestling today. I know you've had your hands full with the bully and nails camping on your doorstep, for heaven's sakes. Maybe tonight, maybe with Sergeant Slaughter and Tito Santana's the opposition, this could be the end of this. Yeah, I think that, um, you know, Sergeant Tito are uh, uh, old allies in this uh, or organization and other organizations, and uh, I think the Blacktop and Nails are in for the match of their lives tonight. Well, I tell you what, I was looking around for you, my friend, because when the Blacktop bully approached me, pointing that finger at me, spitting in my face, telling me how much he didn't like me. I looked around for you. You were nowhere to be fun. You were hiding under a table. Well, Mick, you know, it's a tough job, and you've got to do it. Oh, thanks, pal. <laughs> I appreciate it very much. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, as referee Gary Darusha gives last-minute instructions to Tito Santana, Sergeant Slaughter, the bully, and Nails. We are getting set for American Wrestling Federation action as only the AWF can deliver, deliver it. Professional wrestling, Paul, the way it should be. Uh, I agree, Mick. It's the way it should be. It's a good old rock'em, sock'em, and, you know, no holds barred. And uh, 
You know, you, you, you have to give credit to Nails and the Blacktop Bully. They're tough competitors. Oh. And, uh, hey, there's a big cheer for Sergeant Slaughter. Still one of the most popular wrestlers uh, all around the world. Oh, he absolutely is. They love the Sarge whenever and wherever he appears. And Tito Santana, of course, the current champion of the world. Well, the well, well actually, Bob Orton uh, in today. My estimation. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, today, um, due to the hands of Sheik Adnan Al Casey oh, and uh, Mr. Fuji, uh, Tito uh, lost the belt to Bob Orton. In my estimation, again, Paul, that was th the single biggest ripoff in the history of professional wrestling and i know you've got to look at that footage very very yeah. closely jim brunzel jim brunzel and i are going to be looking at the footage actually uh, later tonight well i hope you come up with the, the correct decision i know you're a man of integrity between fuji and the sheik they've got a corner on the market on deceit deception and lying in this profession well probably two no better than them at oh. that the action is ready to go, ladies and gentlemen, as two of the biggest, toughest men in professional wrestling lock up, Sergeant Slaughter and the Black Top Bully. And at least momentarily, Sarge backs him into the corner. But I tell you something, the Bully, who is more accustomed to street fighting, back alley brawling, truck stop fighting, than he is getting into the ring and putting on a wrist lock or a hammer lock. Well, the Black Top Bully is a rough, rough guy. I'm sorry. The Black Top Bully is a, is a rough guy, and... Uh, you know, he doesn't care if, it's, uh, if he does it by a headlock or if he uh, pulls your hair and takes you down. Well, the blacktop bully, we've mentioned this many times on the AWF broadcast. Every place he has appeared in the world of professional wrestling, he's come away with some type of a championship. But invariably, he winds up getting suspended, fined, disqualified. Well, you know, that's the way he works it. And, uh, you know, for once I see he's got a headlock on Sarge. What do you know? It's a, a legitimate wrestling hold by the bully. Unbelievable. I didn't know he had it. <laughs> All right, Slaughter. Whips him off the ropes. Oh, but Sarge was met with a crunching shoulder tackle there. The bully over the top of that hip toss. Oh, what a move by Sarge. Boy, bully didn't know what was coming towards him. Well, I tell you what, it took all of Sarge's strength to toss the 270-pounder. And as I'm looking around the building here, the highway honey, Big Mama, very conspicuous by her absence. Oh, uh, I understand that she's, uh, according to Bully, briefly told me that she's outside in the truck waiting for him to get done with He won't match. even let her in the building. No, nah, he's too, he's very, very possessive of her. Well, I'm certainly not going to try to, you know, say anything to her, <laughs> go out with her, as long as the Bully is in the same county. Yeah, he's a tough character. There's the tag, ladies and gentlemen, and Tito Santana hits the ring, and Tito, uh, as always, looks to be in phenomenal condition. Paul, over the years, I don't know of anybody that has trained more diligently than Tito Santana. Yeah, Tito trains every day. I've worked out with Tito uh, several times, and he is just the, he's just no. tough. Shoulder tackle, there's a drop down by the bully. Oh, and a drop toe hold into the side headlock by Tito with a reversal. What a great move oh. by Tito. Oh, but he had, bully didn't know what happened. He got him down in a headlock, and then all of a sudden Tito did that underhand wrist lock to him. And the camera's taking you right into the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, again, we're at Fred Moore Middle School, and a good look at the blacktop bully as if we need one. Uh, one of the most handsome men in oh, professional wrestling, Mick. He's Robert Redford, I'll tell you. There's a shot to the midsection, and now the bully turning it on. And this is what he does best. One shot into another, hard into the corner. And the bully is methodical. He's not a fast, finesse wrestler. Everything he does is high impact. Yeah, he'll take his time and wear you down. His favorite phrase is, you know, I'll beat you up for four minutes, and then when I'm done with the break, I'll beat you up for another four. There you go. What a save by uh, Sergeant Slaughter as he blocked Tito's way into the uh, turnbuckle and the bully thought he was going to be able to go in there and charge him right away. Ladies and gentlemen, you are watching the American Wrestling Federation, and I urge you here in the Twin Cities in the state of Minnesota, every Saturday afternoon, 2 p.m., Channel 23, you want to watch professional wrestling the way it should be, the real deal. Tune in to the AWF Warriors of Wrestling. Tito trying to mount some kind of an offense as Nails, out of camera range, starts to make his way into the ring. Oh, my word! Oh, God. Nails tried to do the same block, and he took the worst of it yeah. that time. Yeah, Mick, uh, Nails. I thought that it was going to be a nice, easy uh, stop, but uh, they, uh, Blacktop Bully uh, ran right into him. And we are getting set for the conclusion of the opening round in this one as Sarge maintains the side headlock. Come on, Sarge. you got to let it go as round one 
comes to a conclusion here. You know, Mick, I wanted to tell you that uh, today was a marvelous uh, new journey for a lot of the wrestlers who have not wrestled on television for us, and introducing them to the round system, and I think they deserve a lot of credit. Um, Lenny Lane, uh, horse psychopath, and he is a psychopath. Oh. Um, and a lot of the gentlemen here who, uh, who are wrestling tonight, uh, they're giving us a marvelous uh, entree of what they can do. Absolutely. Their repertoire is pretty good. And uh, you never know where you find new young talent. And uh, this has been a marvelous opportunity for them to participate in the round system. Well, Paul, I can tell you absolutely that in talking to some of these wrestlers over the past week, there was such anticipation, so much tension. They know that you're here. They know that the AWF cameras are rolling. They want so badly to climb the ladder and be a part of the major league of professional wrestling. Yeah, and it, you know, uh, we're always on the island look for brand new young wrestlers. And oh my oh, God, gosh. not only did Sarge just hit the top of the pose with his head, but right before the Blacktop Billy Nails double teamed him, as usual, not uh, not legal in our sport of professional wrestling. Well, you and I both know that if it's illegal, it's in the rule book as written by Nails and the Bully. Yeah. Oh, and, and Sarge takes a shot, shot from the bully. Look at this now. Come on, referee. Yeah, and, uh, you know, Nails hit push the referee from behind, and I have a very strict rule about wrestlers touching referees. I know you do. I know you do, and that's one thing, Paul, I have to give you credit for. As we look, coincidentally, at two of the uh, most vicious madmen in the sport in Nails and the Bully, you said at the inception of the American Wrestling Federation there were going to be fines, there were going to be suspensions, rules were going to be followed. You're a man of your word. Congrats. Oh, I appreciate that, Mick. Uh, I have suspended Nails in the past, and I will continue to do it again if he continues to violate the rules or violate the referees, and same for anybody in the AWF. Well, they're working on the eyes of Sergeant Slaughter, and I tell you what, no matter how big, how tough you are, those thumbs in the eyes are going to shift the momentum in any match. And the crowd picks up the chant of USA, USA, trying to implore Sergeant Slaughter to get something going. Oh, wait a second now. The bully with the attempted boot to the midsection, but Sarge has him in a very compromising position. Oh, what a shot. What a shot to the side of the head. There's another one by Sarge. He's in great form tonight. There's one by Tito. One by Sarge. One by Tito. <laughs> And the blacktop bull, he's just reeling, and he doesn't know where he's at right now. He has no idea if he's at a truck stop, a donut shop, or the middle of the ring. Slaughter and Santana, and they nailed Nails. Part of, the, uh, part of the repetition there. There goes Tito for the pin, but uh, Nails distracted the referee. There goes Sarge after Ednon. Oh, get oh, it. he's got a hold of him. He has the sheet. He's got the sheet. Oh, wait a second. Nails from behind. I would like nothing better than to see Sarge get a hold of the Sheik, and you and I both know they have been bitter enemies for many, many years. Yeah, well, they've been bitter enemies at one time. They teamed up, but boy, I'll tell you what, sorry, that didn't last long with Sarge. Oh. There's a knee by nails into the back. Now Bully's taking advantage of uh, Tito Santana. Look at him just pound away. Tito's well, just wearing down. And what he's doing, Paul, you and I both know that, know that Cowboy Bob Orton inflicted serious rib injuries recently on Tito Santana. Yes. Clearly, the bully and Nails did their homework. Yeah, Tito's not at full strength today. You know, after he lost the belt this afternoon, he was still complaining about the broken, the, the, the fresh, slight fracture of the ribs. Well, and, I'm uh, amazed that he's here. Well, Tito didn't want to disappoint his fans here in Minnesota in the uh, Noka area. The Minneapolis area, and you know, he's just a man of his word. He always has been, as long as I've known him. Well, and I still have to say, Paul, and I realize that what we saw on television today, that Bob Orton, as we speak, is the heavyweight champion. In my estimation, again, had it not been for Fuji, had it not been for the desert rat himself, it would have been a different outcome. Yeah, unfortunately, I wasn't there today at television, Mick, and, uh, you know, hopefully uh, we'll get this matter straightened out in the next day or so. Well, I hope you do, and I know that yourself and Jim Brunzel, very, very diligent in your duties. You screen those tapes for any infraction, and I hope you come up with the right call. Once sure again, will. ladies and gentlemen, we're coming to the end of this round. Oh, has a double elbow shot there. Bully in for the cover count of one and two. Oh, that is the end of the round. Unbelievable. Well, what great action. You know, at the end, they almost had Tito pin. You know, it's kind of tough for him to bounce up real fast with his ribs and the problem that he's had. 
As, well, as you can see, Sarge is uh, sort of protecting Tito in the ring right now. Very, very wise move when you're looking at Nails and the bully on the other side of the ring. You know, I, I've got to talk to you about Nails specifically. Here's a guy we saw just a couple of weeks ago through a stool from about 30 feet, mm. caught poor Rick Thunder right between the eyes with the stool. We've seen him hang wrestlers by, by lengths of chain, microphone cables. This guy is a bona fide nutcase, Paul. Yeah, Nails uh, doesn't have all his marbles upstairs in the elevator. Don't go to the top floor. Well, however, clearly. however, I will give him his due. He is probably one of the toughest men in the ring, and um, I wouldn't want to get in the ring with him myself. I believe we're just about set to go, and I'm looking at Tito Santana. He is in rough shape. I'm not sure, Paul that he's going to be able to continue here and look at the continuance here as the blacktop bully. I said it just a few moments ago. He knows the ribs are injured, and he is like a, a tiger right now going after his prey. Yeah, and he is he's working hard on those ribs, and, uh, and oh. there goes Nails right right into the same area that the blacktop bully did. Well, I'll tell you what, Mick, I don't know how long Tito can hold this out. Oh, my God. He just hit the turnbuckle and just collapsed to his back. Give Nails and the Bully all the credit in the world. I mean, this is a formidable team that they're meeting here in Slaughter and Santana, but they're cutting off the ring ball. Very little opportunity for Tito to make a tag. Good tag team, good tag team work. That's the object of tag team wrestling. He's cut that ring in half so the so the guy can't get back to his corner. There goes Sarge. He's, he's just trying to get in there and protect Tito, and the referee's doing his job, though. Absolutely. He's getting him back into the corner. One of the great veteran referees in Gary Darusha. We remember him from the days of the old American Wrestling Association. Yeah, he was their troubleshooter referee. You and, uh, bet. We're actually looking at bringing Gary in as a troubleshooter referee for the AWF. Well, he's a classic referee, no question about it. He's got to have his hands full with bully and nails. Tito's trying to fight back now from the deck. He mounts a, a minor offense here. He's trying to bully, and I, I pardon the expression, trying to bully no nails into intended, the corner. <laughs> yes. But again, cutting off the ring, systematically taking the starch out of Tito Santana. Yeah, he they're doing a number on Tito's ribs and oh my god. There is a suplex throw, I believe, by Nails. He covered him. Tito one. Up. Wait a second now. Could he or could he have not pinned Tito Santana right there? I think there? he could have pinned Tito at that point. Here comes, here comes Bully now. Well, this has, I, I have to say, much to my dismay, and you try to be unbiased out here, this has been nothing but the Bully and Nails for several minutes here. Well, you know what? Uh, Tito's, uh, he's just, they cut the ring off in half. He can't get back to Sarge. You can start hearing the fans going, Tito, Tito, and uh, Sarge is holding out his hand as far as he can for Tito Tan, but Bully's got an arm lock on him. Well, she can't on LKC, who got to his feet rather shakily a few minutes ago. Oh, there's the Bully with a yank of the hair. Yeah, and unfortunately, the referee couldn't see it because he was on the other side making sure the hold was legal. And now what's Tito going to do, pull his hair back? That's kind of a lost cause. Oh, well, yeah, it's kind of lost. Uh, you know, I, I don't know if the bully will ever be able to grow hair again, so I don't know if Tito will be able to pull it. Well, please don't uh, don't let him hear this tape. Anything negative I say about the bully, please bleep out. And, uh, he doesn't like you, Mick. I don't oh, know why. I love you. I well, think you're a hell of a guy. I appreciate that, Paul. Well, I'm not real nuts about him either, let me tell you. And by the way, all the women in the Minneapolis area, Mick is single right now, so you can go ahead and... Send in your cards and letters to the AWF if you want to meet Mick. It, it, is this in lieu of paying me now for the next several months or what? I thought it was several years. <laughs> <laughs> that plug won't do you any good, Paul. I hate to tell you, Mick loves kids. Oh. <laughs> there it's going. Here comes Tito. Tito's All right, can he He's get got some, one punch, too. You bet he does that. There's an arm throw. All right, can he get something going? The crowd certainly getting behind Tito Santana here. If Tito can mount some kind of an offense... Oh, oh, he nailed God. Sarge. He nailed Sarge. And Sarge, very, very intent on Tito's comeback, was blindsided there by the bully. And again, Tito into the buckle, but that time, the bully telegraphed. <laughs> Tito has got to make a tag here, Paul. He made it. There goes Sarge. Oh, here's he the big bully. Here he goes. Sergeant Slaughter hits the ring. Oh, Elevation, and he pounds Nails in the corner of Sergeant Slaughter, turning it on. There's that big elbow, and he drops Nails. Once again, the Sarge is on fire here at Anoka, Minnesota. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, oh! Oh, I can't get around. No, 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 no. 
no. Turn it around. Oh. That's the round system, boy. Oh. I'll tell you what. He almost had him, but the round ended at the two count. Oh, I cannot believe it, Paul. Just right. as the Sarge hit the ring, there was no stopping him. The round system held up that one. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to throw this to a quick pause for a PSA. We'll be back with tremendous American Wrestling Federation action from the Fred Moore Middle School in Anoka, Minnesota. Stay with us. the lonely. In fact, nowhere in the Constitution does it say you have to provide anything for anybody. Thank you for all you've given. Imagine what more could do. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, the American Wrestling Federation. Coming out, oh, what a shot from Sergeant Slaughter. A thundering forearm to the chest of and, the black. And look at Tito yeah, now. Now they're doing back to them what they were doing to them. Turnabout is fair play here. Absolutely. The blacktop bully and the convict nails. I got, wait a minute, Cobra Clutch in the middle of the ring. This, this could be it, Mick. This, you know, nobody yeah. breaks a Cobra Clutch. This is fantastic. Wait a minute, Nails. Nails about to enter the ring. Oh, oh here comes Tito. Tito Santana's in the ring now. All four men. All four men. Sorry. All four men are in the ring right now. Referee Gary Derusha doing what he can to maintain law and order. There's that double whip and the double elbow. Oh, my God. What a what a double play by Tito and Sarge. Oh, they got bullied. They're going to shift him to the ropes. There we and go. Oh, what, what a bully. shot. Right under the chin and right on the mouth. It looks like Nails and Bully are in trouble right now. Well, the, Oh, wait a second. Wait a minute now. Nails grabs the blacktop bully. Just a minute now. Where are they going? Oh, my God. Look wait at this. Everybody's outside the ring Everybody. right now. It's gone crazy. It's gone absolutely berserk here in Anoka, Minnesota. All four, man. Wait a minute. Sarge. Oh, Sarge picks up the chair. Oh, my oh, God. Right over the head right of Right top of the head. This one's over. And, and this one is all over. And on the other side, Tito and Bully are going oh at it. Oh, my gosh. Right across the Come back on. of the back with the chair for Sarge. Oh, he's got the flag. Flag. Come on, Nails. Get the hell out of here. Oh, it has broken loose here, ladies and gentlemen. Sarge and Nails. They're still going at it. They're going back into the locker room. They're going into the locker room. And as you said, on the other side of the building, Tito Santana yeah. and the black top bully. There's the bully. Oh, my gosh. Over there. Tito's following him with a chair. And I'll make a, I think we have a double oh. disqualification here. Oh, absolutely we do. Tito Santana looking around here. A very, very frustrated man. Let's go to Christian Dady for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Gary DeRusha has counted both teams out of the ring. This match is a double disqualification. Okay. 
Well, I don't blame Gary Darusha one bit. No, nope, well, can't do that. Mr. President. Hold it, we still have a battle royal until the fans. This is absolutely amazing. And ladies and gentlemen, don't go anywhere. Don't forget, we do have that big battle royal coming up in just a few minutes. The winner of that will take home the plaque for the inaugural pumpkin brawl. Ladies and gentlemen, stay with us. A 12-man over-the-top rope battle still to come. And Mr. President, you're sitting right here. You watch the chairs. You watch the flag. You watched everything come into play. And you're real close to the action. Well, I think there may be a few spines uh, out of this because, again, we, uh, we have certain rules about that. And I'll have to talk to Jim Brunzel after he reviews this tape from Anoka. And I think the bully and the uh, blacktop are probably going to be fined about at least $1,000, if not more. Well, I tell you what, we're not used to this in Anoka, Minnesota. You know, this is a placid state. I live here. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. The Minneapolis area is a wonderful area to be in. Wonderful, nice people here. And... Uh, I really appreciate all the fans coming out, and there's a big battle royal here that they're going to finish up, but i got to go back and settle up to some things in the locker room. Mick. Good luck, my Thanks friend. Thanks a lot, Thanks Mick. It's been a lot of fun in. being with you. Stay with and us, remember, everybody. ladies, uh, you're all available to find Mick. Bye. Oh, I love you. What a man. What a boss. Stay with us. Math, a four-letter word, right? Hey, you don't need that. Why well, design the world's newest chips? <laughs> and you could be flipping the world's oldest burger. Hey, wait a minute. This is math. Geometry, algebra. No pocket protectors here. But you're cruising without math. Yeah, right. Take a good look. That's math staring back at you. It's not a problem, man. It's an answer. Call NACME. We'll tell you what you need to do. There's an awesome power that can eliminate over half of our nation's defense forces. It's everywhere, and it can strike at any time. Who has this incredible power? You do. If you employ National Guard and Reserve members, you need to use your power wisely, because today, the Guard and Reserve make up over half of our country's defense. So when they need time off to serve, be a hero. Give them the freedom to protect ours. <laughs> the main event is next on the Pumpkin Brawl. 